your Massachusetts real estate market update for December 12th, 2022. So what are we going to chat about? As always, we're going to talk about the single family and condo market for the week of uh, December 12th. But as a quick heads up, if you're looking for the November data, then make sure you check out that uh, video that I got up here in the description and also just in the feed. Interest rates, there's a lot to talk about here. Some amazing news mixed in with some cautionary tales. Distressed properties in Massachusetts, it's more of the same, but we're going to take a look at those. And then that luxury segment, no new listings. So I'm going to go a little off script here, and we're going to take a look at a multifamily compound in Brewster. Seven cottages, six studios, oceanfront. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent that sold more than a thousand homes and is one of the state's top real estate agents. And if you like hearing about the Massachusetts real estate market, then be sure to hit that subscribe and like button below. So let's dig into the data and start with the single family market. We currently have 4,237 single family homes on the market. Now inventory continues to decrease as we approach Christmas. In the last four weeks, we've dropped 1,067 units or by about 20%. Now, inventory decreases, they're completely to be expected this time of year. The very, very interesting thing is the difference in the number of homes available to home buyers compared to the same time last year. And that amount actually keeps falling. Two weeks ago, it was 1,484 units. Last week, it was 1,406 units. And this week, it's 1,313 units. Now, what's happening here? The market, it's continuing to improve for sellers. Kind of crazy. Is it the decrease in interest rates that's really bringing additional activity to this market? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. But we have 499 newly listed properties that came on the market. Now, the average in October and November was 877 units. We expect this number to be down again. Um, it's currently down about 20% when you look at the same week last year. There were 681 homes that went under agreement. Now the four week rolling average is 830 units. Again, we expect this number to be down due to the time of year, but it's also down about 26% when compared to the same week last year. Then for closed sales, we had 631 homes sell last week for an average sales price of $655,000 and a median sales price of $540,000. Then that months of inventory. Months of inventory is how we gauge what type of market we're in. Zero to five months, hot sellers market, five to seven months, equal market, and buyer's market is seven months or more. We currently have 1.29 months worth of inventory, and this is compared to last week's 1.38 months worth of inventory. So we're continuing to see the market improve for sellers. So now to that condo market. There are 2,209 condos currently on the market. Now, inventory decreased by 554 units in just the last four weeks or by about 20%. Now, buyers have 243 more units to choose that from than compared to this time last year. And last year, that number was 232. So we've seen a small increase in this market. So buyers should be enjoying that. We had 233 newly listed condos that came on the market this week. Now, the average amount of condos listed for November and October were 378 units. So we were down. Again, this is completely to be expected. It's the time of year. We had 290 condos that went under agreement last week. The average for October and November was 355 units going under agreement. Again, time of year. 225 condos closed last week for an average sales price of $668,000 and a median sales price of $485,000. Then that months of inventory, months of inventory actually pulled back to 1.8 months from 1.91 months last week. So just like in the single family market, the condo market actually continues to improve for home sellers. Do you like hearing about what's going on in the Massachusetts real estate market? Then make sure you smash that like button. It's just a huge help to the YouTube gods, and I truly appreciate you consider subscribing. Now, on to the mortgage market, because there's some big news here. We had a big day, huge Consumer price index data came out and it came in lower than expected. Really great news for us. So, so far today, the 10 year treasury has just tumbled, which means mortgage rates are also tumbling as well. Now, the question becomes, what will happen tomorrow with the Fed rate announcement? Will they continue with their 75 basis point increase hikes like we've been seeing? Or are they going to maybe move it down and throttle it down a little bit to 50 basis points? If moved to 50 basis points, expects rates, expect rates to fall even more. So this is all good news, right? Well, this is when we need to become kind of weary and cognizant watching for that other shoe to drop. This inverted rate curve, it's due to the expectation of a recession. 
Now, cheap interest rates, they're always great, but that greatness can be easily outshadowed by a deep recession. So figure that we may really need to start looking at some different numbers moving forward. Um, and that specific number is unemployment numbers. But let's jump in and start talking about some foreclosures. Accounting for all single family condos as well as multifamily properties, currently on the market in the state of Massachusetts, there's currently 126 foreclosures for sale. There are 32 short sale properties for sale, which gives us a total of 158 distressed properties that are currently on the market here in the state of Massachusetts. So available inventory in the distressed market actually increased by one unit, um, but because we've actually seen inventory decrease, we actually saw the percentage of distressed sales to total inventory actually go up to 2.15%. And this was compared to, I think it was 2.02% last week. So we're definitely seeing some increases in the percentage basis of the distressed sales. But again, it's because we're seeing such huge decreases in the amount of inventory in our traditional market. So nothing to really be worried about here as we continue to look at the distressed market. Um, um, because so many people think that the distressed market, well, if you see a big balloon of houses there, then that's ultimately going to tie into negative home price appreciation. So not so fast, not so far. Now, on to the Massachusetts luxury home, and we're actually going to head to Brewster to visit this compound at 161 Linnell Landing Road. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I think I did. This place, it's pretty awesome. I think if I had the cash, then this would really be something I personally look at. It's just really cool. Now, the multifamily property consists of seven cottages and then has six seaside studios and it's nestled on 2.42 acres. The property, it's oceanfront and supports flawless sandy beaches. I'm just imagining my boat on a mooring right off the shore. Now call me nostalgic, but I could just imagine all the cousins running around on the beach, doing a lobster bake at night. It's just such a cool spot. Now, I personally, I'd have to put in a pool though. I think that like a community family pool would be pretty cool. So this Cape Cod compound, say that five times fast, is listed for $10.9 million. Do you want to talk about your personal real estate needs? My information, it's in the description below. Uh, I always love talking about real estate. I'd love to chat with you about your real estate goals because this is a passion of mine. I love what I do. But as a quick heads up, I can't work with everybody. I don't know all the answers, but here's my promise to you. If I don't know the answer, if I can't help you, I'm always going to point you in that direction of somebody that can help you, which so basically you're not wasting your time. Whether you're looking to move in the next nine days or 90 days, reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you. Questions or comments about the current market data, then drop them in the comments section below. You always take the time to watch this video, so I'm always going to take the time uh, to answer your comments, questions, or well, concerns. Keep in mind, an informed person is a powerful person. So until next time.